Good evening, gents, and welcome back to the channel here. Today I have for you, for review and for an unboxing, a few Paul Frederick button-up shirts. These are going to be the traditional white uh, with French cuffs. These actually do come in different styles. You can do French cuffs, you can do a barrel cuff, and there's a couple of different other options you can do as well. Uh, for all four shirts, I actually only paid $112. That's before shipping and handling. And it ends up being a very great deal that I've seen from this website. And I'll put the link in the description for you guys so you can get the same great deal that I did. And then they do add a couple of added benefits when they do send you stuff. It's uh, They'll give you a discount code for uh, when you buy your next purchase. You'll get a, a 20 30% off, which on their products is a great deal. So with this, I'll open this up for you. I already took my one shirt out already so there's going to be three in here only and like i said they have two different style collars here we have the windsor collar which is going to be a lot wider and then you have your traditional collar here where it's going to be a little bit more narrow i'll give you guys a side-by-side -side view of that that way you can see the difference between both of them. You do have an option, I do believe, on there that you can get button-down collars. I'm not a very big fan of those, mostly because I do have a bigger neck and I don't think it looks very well on my on my build. And personally, I don't like seeing buttons either like that. Um, on me, is uh, not saying that wouldn't work for somebody else. Uh, these do come in a variety of sizes, but they do only go up to about a 20-inch neck with about 36 to 37 on the sleeves. I do have a 21 inch neck, so I went with the 20 inch neck because I do vary between sizes. Uh, sometimes, you know, I could be measuring out 19 and a half, or on a, you know, a, a day where I have a little bit more, I'm holding a little bit more water, I might be creeping up to two, uh, 21, 21 and a half. But nothing that a, uh, a collar extender won't fix for the time being. And, you know, these are just, I couldn't pass up the deal on these. They fit very nicely. The only thing I might do, and I actually, I think I actually will do it, is I will take them in and have them tailored a little bit just so they fit me a little bit more snugger and give me more of an athletic feel to them. And also so that I can wear them untucked as well. Because these are a little bit bigger, they're going to have a lot of excess material so that you can tuck it in. But it's just, for my build, it's too much excess where it's going to be ballooning out. And it's going to give you that uh, that cloud effect at the waist at the waistline. Where it's actually going to creep out of your pants and actually go over your belt line. And it's not going to look as uh, as nicely as it could without a suit, a suit coat on. And, you know, a lot of us do take those suit coats off. And you still want, you know, your outfit to look clean. And, and nice and, and trimmed up and not looking like you're wearing a, a dress there so and then also it gives you the option too when you do that kind of thing to wear it untucked as well on a more casual friday day where you might not be wearing a collar or might not be wearing not a collar but not might not be wearing a tie um, with these these do have removable collar stays i do like that option because i do have stainless steel collar stays and i got them in different varieties i got a longer one that when I'm not wearing a tie that I throw in so that the collar stands up on its own a little bit more. And then I got a shorter one for when I do wear a tie so that way I can actually have it laid down a little bit more so I can have that tie in the, in the top collar button. So with that, these do have the option of actually getting them embroidered. You can do it on the breast pocket or you can do it on the cuff. These are French cuffs and I actually had my embroidery put in in navy blue. You can get embroidery on any other products for the most part and they do have a variety they have script and they have block but you have a different variety in color this is navy blue like i said uh, they do have red they have black uh, i do believe they might have a couple of different funky colors that way you can if you want to match it to a shirt whether it's like a purple or a black you can actually have the embroidery still and have it a subdued color so it, it blends in and camouflages it on a black one, I'd probably go, I think they do have gray, I'd probably go with like a silver or a gray, gunmetal gray, just so it, you can still see it, but it's not popping out as a white embroidery would. Um, this does fit a little bit better uh, when I do wear navy blue suits, so I think that will work just perfectly fine. Um, like I said, I got a couple of these, uh, I got two, and what I did, and this is my trick, uh, if you guys want to follow suit to it, by all means, definitely do it. Uh, I got two of the... Windsor collars and I got two of the traditional that way I have you know 
a variety between both of them. So when I do end up having to switch out of a shirt, maybe it's, you know, I was wearing a Windsor all week and I want to go to traditional, I can do that. Or if I want to wear a Windsor all week, but I know I can't wear it every day because, you know, depending on the weather, white soils very easily. So in the wintertime, I'm thinking I'm probably going to get maybe up to five wears, maybe six, depending on, you know, the climate and how much, you know, I perspire and how much uh, neck oil or no oil from my skin will get onto the neckline into the cuffs. In the summertime, I'm looking more probably around two to three wears. That's That might even be pushing it, depending on how hot it is. But by having, you know, two of the same styles, I can assure myself that I will have a backup shirt every time. Um, you know, I'm not going to wear white shirts every day, but it's nice to have that option. So that way I can send, you know, two to the cleaners while I still have two at home. So I can send, you know, both my Windsor and my traditional to the cleaners, and I still have two of the same ones at home to to rotate through my wardrobe. Now these are 100% cotton, so I won't, um, I will not be washing them myself. They're going to be strictly dry clean only for me. Um, that's because I just don't want to shrink them. Like I said, the, the neck's already tight enough as it is, so I want to keep it as loose as I can. And I want to keep it as pearly white as I can for the longest I can. Um, with the collars and the cuffs, I like to do a heavy starch on them and a light starch on the, on the body itself. That way they stay nice and stiff and they hold their shape. That might vary for you guys. But that's just the way I like to roll. And like I said, here's the shirt that I did take out of the back, out of the package. Um, and the only thing I said, like, I'm going to have this part right here taken in just enough. So it has that upside down triangle look to it. I have bigger shoulders, but I do have, you know, I do slender down in the waist area. That way it's more of an athletic cut. And I will take it up a few. Um, as you can see, it is quite long. I mean... It's going to be well past my belt line when I tuck it in. So I'm going to have to have this taken up just a bit. The collar, the collar is great. I do like this. I put it on. I wore it without a tie. And they do stay up very nicely on their own with just, with just the collar stays that they have in here. I think these ones are a little bit longer. Yeah, they're, they're longer than your traditional ones. Your traditional ones will... They won't peek out as much as this. They'll actually stay right about there. So those are the longer ones. I do like the stainless steel options because I know they're going to stay as stiff as possible and firm in there. They're not going to bend. There's not going to be a lot of movement because it's not plastic. So that's my option. That's my uh, suggestion. If you want to have, you know, crisp looking collar, your mileage may vary though. And like I said, these are French cuffs. So... You know, I do like a nice cuff link. So being able to have a shirt like this to where I can, you know, put a cuff link in and make it look very, very awesome looking with whatever I'm wearing, whether it's my stick pin and I match those up with my tie bar and just make it really awesome for myself. And another thing I might think about doing, I'm at the ask the tailor, but I'm not a big fan of breast pockets um, just because I don't find a use for them. I never put anything in the top of my pocket, um, especially for a white shirt. I would never throw a pen. I would never throw really anything in here, just in fear of, for one, putting a hole in the bottom, or for two, a pen exploding. Um, I just think it looks, you know, tacky as well. I like a clean front. So I might actually see if the tailor will take this off and it won't actually ruin the look of this shirt. But let me know what you guys think. I will put, like I said, the link in the description for the shirts in the description below. And as always, my friends, stay dapper.